Hi there, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have another thrifted home decor haul, and I hope that these videos, I have several more, you can go down and look at my playlist, but I hope these videos give you some inspiration to know what to look for in the thrift store, because I know when I started thrifting, it was sort of hard to know what even to look for. There's gems right in front of you that you're missing that would really be incorporated into any style home. I have a modern style home, but I like some things that are a little more intricate. So, and this haul definitely reflects that. I have some really beautiful gold frame things that you can see in the frame, but I'll start with my favorite one. And here's this one. It's two little girls looking at flowers and this beautiful tree and really pastel. And I love it because it looks just like my daughters. I have three daughters, but this looks like two of them that are close in age and just so precious. I think this would be so pretty in their room. I love the gold frame and the white matting, like just need some dusting off and perfect. It's only a couple dollars. So this is just one of those things that like, what a find that you don't even know that you need it. And I love art that means something. So I see my two little blonde girls with their little bob haircuts, looks just like them. I'll pop a picture of them so you can see, but just so precious. So I love the pastel colors. And actually my daughter's room is like somewhere between these two colors too. So this will just be perfect in there. All right, the next thing is a vase. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know I'm always on a hunt for vessels and vases. And this one has all this texture. It already kind of came distressed. I'm debating if I want to change the color of it. It's sort of a gray mauve with like a creamy color. This, I would, I just love black and white. I just think this would be, or even like a terracotta if I wanted to be wild, but I just love the texture. I love the like hourglass shape. So my like baby's breath or branches coming out of it. I just think it's perfect. So I love that it has that found look and I only paid $5 for this. So great little find. Okay, the next framed art is a woman that I probably should know, but the picture looks really pixelated. I don't care for the picture, but I love the frame for $5. So here's the picture. Don't love it, and it's all dusty. It needs to be, needs some TLC. But I think I have some prints that I need frames for. And so I thought I could, I'm sure, just order a matting on like Amazon and make the paintings I already have work for in here. So. I just like the repurposing. I love this gold frame. So really, really pretty. So you can definitely save a lot of money for looking at frames at the thrift store. You can get them for just a couple dollars. Whereas if you were to go to a framing store and get something custom framed, then it would be a lot more. But I would rather, I you can get a custom mat for pretty cheap, as long as it's relatively the same size. Maybe I'll show you what I end up putting in there when I figure out what I want to put in there, but a great little find. All right, this next piece, is a porcelain dish and it's made in France has this like gold leaping and scalloped edge just like this precious little bowl I imagine it on like books or like in my like where all my jewelry is so just precious it was like a dollar I think so it's hard to pass up this precious thing I don't know the brand of this George Boyer I'm sure in French you say it a lot more fancy than that but really really pretty so the next thing I picked up were these candle holders and I love like this fluted edge. It reminds me of like Art Deco, like early eighties kind of style, really heavy pieces. I'm not sure why they charged me different prices since they are like a matching pair. Really nice weight to the glass. And these could be a catch all as well. I love them for a table setting on shelves, just really versatile glass pieces and they stack nicely when you're not using them. So yeah, love, love, love. Okay, and my last piece you can see behind me here is this mirror. I'll show a cutaway of the mirror, but really nice size mirror, probably like four feet by three feet, I would guess. And I paid like, I think $30 for it. And I'm thinking I'll spray paint it to give it less of a warm gold look and more of a neutral gold. The ornate style and the gold frame remind me of Restoration Hardware mirrors. They have their gilt mirror and they have their, I believe it's called the Louis mirror. And some of them have like a medallion on the top of it, which I probably could be creative and try to do. I probably won't do that. I'll probably just spray paint it to be the right kind of gold color. 
but this mirror is so versatile. You could put this mirror anywhere. I'm thinking I want to lean it on a dresser, maybe in my master closet or in the guest room or even my daughter's rooms. So this type of mirror is very versatile because it can go leaning on a dresser. This one's probably too short to be a wall leaning mirror, but definitely on a piece of furniture or like a credenza. And it could even just be hung on the wall like the traditional way. So really beautiful and it really goes with i have a really large mirror that's like 10 feet tall um that's in my living room and i actually don't it looks like it's from restoration hardware i actually don't know where it's from we bought it with the sale of our house we wrote it into the contract of the house i always get asked where that mirror is from and i don't actually know but i know restoration hardware sells really similar ones and i love that piece i love mirrors to decorate with because they're neutral and they really brighten up a space. They add a lot of luxuriousness. They add a lot of light. So I say when in doubt, get a big mirror. And also carefully curated art. And I'm so excited about that piece with the girls. And maybe in the future when I finish decorating my house, because we haven't even started, because we're, if you haven't watched any of my videos, we are, we've been completely renovating our home and we're getting to the final stretch and soon we'll start decorating. And I have, I've been slowly over the past couple of years, like curating the art I want for my home because I really, I'm not a fan of when you just go to TJ Maxx and just pick up art that's there. I think art should be meaningful to you and should say something about you or say something about your beliefs or something, but something that's important to you or something that you value or love or think is funny or find beautiful. It doesn't have to be so deep, but just not something without any thought or randomness because it's, to me, it's what's up in your home. It's what you see every day. It should either say something about you or remind you of something or make you happy or make you ponder. So that's what I love about art pieces. So if you're interested in seeing the art that I have, please comment down below. I'd love to show you those pieces and my husband's as well. He's curated a couple pieces for his home office that are kind of fun. They're, we have a lot different styles. Our styles are couldn't be further from each other when it comes to art. That's what makes a home a home is blending different ideas. My husband and I are different, but we complement each other. So hopefully we'll see when the house comes together if the styles are actually complimentary but um anyhow thank you so much for watching let me know what your favorite piece was that i got on this little haul and i hope that this gave you some inspiration when you're out at the thrift store and i'll catch you in my next video bye